Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Uh, this is episode number four. Last time we took on the Orberg City Gym, and we won um, without any casualties, thankfully. Um, come on. It's, it was being weird for a second there. Um, we have uh, the team here, which is a beautiful team. I'm going to be using Zod first. Because, uh, next gym is actually a grass-type gym. Wait, rival battle, really? Oh, no. Uh, that's not fun. I think... I think there's a rival battle right now? Oh, <laughs> never mind. I guess it's, uh, there wasn't a, uh, rival battle today. Which I am... I'm glad. No rival battle. Back to row 203. We are going to be going onward, upward to Floroma Town, I believe. Uh, Floroma Town. Um, found my DC hat, thankfully. And that's good. Um, at this point, I wish I had my bike. Oh, there's Looker. Um, no, I haven't. I, and I'm not planning on it. There's no point in me getting a pal pad. Um, because, uh, there's no online play because I'm playing a ROM. And, hello. Um... Who are they? I think they're called Plasma Grunts? I believe they're- it's Team Plasma in this game. And the team's turning out quite well. I'm kind of glad that- I would guess I shouldn't say I'm glad Bidoof died, but it would be- it would just drag the team down at this point. Wow, Rowan's just bitching these guys out. Jesus. Wow, Rowan. You're, you're hard ass. Jesus. Um, I got quite a few comments last yesterday, or last night, about uh, episode 3, about me spoiling a death. But I didn't really spoil who died, so you can't really get mad at me for that. Uh, just gonna point that out there. Um, anyways, I think this weekend I'm starting up a Blaze Block playthrough. It's gonna be on weekends only. It's gonna be a Blaze Block Nuzlocke. Um, but yeah, it's only on weekends, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting to fail by second gym at, at least. Or at most. First gym, at least, because it's a, a rotation battle, I believe, in Blaze Black for the first gym. Um, I haven't played Blaze Black in forever, so there's that. Um, I'm getting another overlay from Evan, because he's a beautiful son of a gun. Um, I'm actually playing this during the daytime today, because I have stuff to do this afternoon and evening, so I won't have actual time to record this. Um, so I hope you guys understand that this is being recorded. It might be uploaded earlier than usual. We beat the Galactic Grunts. Team Galactic. Yeah, they're a bunch of hooligans. <laughs> yes, I knew that he studied the evolution of Pokémon. That's kind of what most of the professors do, except for maybe Sycamore and, uh, 
The Alolan Professor, Kikui. They study Mega Evolution and Z moves. I think I'm gonna put Ponyta up front now. Oh. I don't care who you are, buddy. Uh, I'll take the fashion case, though. Uh, sorry that I'm speeding this up. It's just I kind of want to get along, get on with the story. It's already been five minutes into the episode, and I haven't really gotten anything done. So let's uh, go ahead and put Coco up front. Uh, wrote 204. Again, I'm just gonna speed up trainer battles. Because there's no point in not speeding them up. I think he just said something about having a Magikarp. That's <laughs> really hilarious, because Magikarp knows nothing until level 10. <laughs> like, it learns tackle at level 10, I believe. Uh, Startly, hello. Already have you. Besides, I've already caught a Pokemon in this route, which was Starly, honest, actually. Um, I believe we get another encounter in this cave up ahead, so that's cool. It's probably going to be like a Zubat or something, just watch. Yeah, Ravage Path, we get a encounter here. Let's see what I get. Is nothing appearing? There we go. Oh, Psyduck! Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, no! Is this thing really... There we go, caught it, finally. So we got a Psyduck, guys, that's cool. Um, we get the duck Pokemon Psyduck, um, it's a guy, and it's Psyduck. Now, what guy do I know that is slow-minded? Ooh, oh, this is gonna be an insult. Well, he was roasting me the other day on Twitter, and I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. He may be a panda, but I don't care. He's quite slow. He's my best friend, too. <laughs> um, so, uh, Kel, you get a uh, little place into this playthrough as a water type on my team. Even though you're completely useless as a friend. <laughs> and you always make fun of me, so it's payback time, bitch. I'll probably just let you die, honestly, just to get back at you. Let's be honest here. Uh, Kel kind of deserves all the razzle that I'm giving him. So, there's no hard feelings between me and him. It's just a lot of friendly banter. Um, him and Abandoned were going at it, and I got dragged into it on Twitter. And I didn't appreciate that. This is the same road as the one below. So there's nothing here for me. Show off your bug type Pokemon. Okay. A Wurmple. Interesting. Level 15. Booyah. Flame Wheel. Yes, that's perfect. I am going to get rid of Growl. Because uh, Tail Whip is actually better suited for Coco just because it's a physical attacker. There goes the Krikata too. Beautiful. So we've uh, defeated two trainers so far. I'm gonna put Izzy up front. I'm hoping to get the, actually. Let's train up Cal. 
Uh, they're the strongest in their class. Oh my god, they have two Pachorises. Um, uh, wasn't expecting that. Um, let's just go into two Pokemon that can, uh, survive more or less. I'm not, I can't use Magnitude because it'll hit, uh, Coco as well. Which isn't fun. Oh, Kel's level five. And this Pachorises are annoying AF. There we go. We defeated the twins. I believe there's something over that way too. But let's see here. So the team plasma grunts are there, so there's something going on here. Um Road 205, I'm actually going to save my encounter here. Or, no, the encounter at the Valley Windworks I'm going to save for tomorrow. Because uh, Drifloon appears on Fridays here at the Valley Windworks. And it is currently Thursday. Let's, let me check to be sure. Yes, it is Thursday. Let's uh, battle this dude. Uh... He's supposed to keep people out that are trying to get in, and he says, battle me if you want to get in. So I'm like, okay, you know what, I'll battle you. I kind of want that key. I have to save that little girl's daddy. Oh, he's just going to lock himself in. That's not fun. That's not even fair, man. That's, that's uncalled for. I'm, um, and then I'm gonna get an encounter at the berry over here at the honey place tomorrow as well. Because I'll come back tomorrow and I will do an encounter here and at Valley Wind Works for two Pokemon. I'm hoping I get Heracross from, uh, from the, uh, what's it called? From the tree. Either that or a female combi, which would be cool. I know combi is actually really common, but it's male form is the common one. Not the female comp not the female uh, uh, combi, because I think it has a 22.5% chance of being female. And a uh, 78 or 77.5 chance of being male. I'm going to switch to Cal real quick. Get him some EXP. And then I'll go into Shinx. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit over leveled for this. Just gonna point that out there. A little bit over leveled. That's fine. I mean, Kel's not gonna be useful to my playthrough until like the fourth gym. So there's that. Um, the Windworks key, and I believe he'll give us honey. His sweet, sweet honey. Okay, and I believe uh, po once you slather it on a tree, the Pokemon will appear the next day. So I'm going to slather this bark with honey, and, and I'll come back tomorrow, and it will be... There will be a Pokemon there. I'm actually going to go ahead and heal up real quick. Uh, the int the team is taking a little bit of beating. Not going to lie. Just a little bit of a beating. Well, I have a full team of six now, which is nice. Now I just need Pokemon to go onto the bench, uh, which reminds me I should probably rename the box right here to bench so now I can get Pokemon extra Pokemon for the bench um, anyways 
We are 15 minutes into the episode and nothing important has happened quite yet. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch uh, Kel up into the first position so he gets more EXP. Uh, we are gonna take on the Valley Windworks today. And then I'll come back tomorrow, get my encounter here and at the farm. He's gonna go alert to the commander, which I believe is Mars in here. I believe it's Mars that's here. At least I'm pretty sure it's Mars. Oh, they're catching up in level to me. Interesting. They're not going to be strong enough to beat me, mind you. But they are catching up in level. I have to take you on still. I'm taking on all the trainers just because I can. I'm not going to speed up the Mars battle because it's an important battle. For supremacy. I'm not even sure what level Mars's uh, Perugly will be at. Because I know she has a Perugly. I just don't know what level it's going to be. Um, I think it's like level 16. So it'll be the same level as Conductor. So Conductor's actually probably going to be my go-to Pokemon for it. Oh, Magnitude 9, that's beautiful. Intel is already level 8. So there's that. Um, one of the four commanders, because now there's a new one. I believe back in the original Platinum game, there's only three. It was Jupiter, Mars, and Mercury. Or no, Saturn. Saturn. Wow, it's actually a higher level than my Shinx. Wow, I don't know how I feel about this. It's still going to go down all the same, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I'm going to switch Kel back in for more experience. It's level 17. It's a level higher than Conductor. But Conductor will be able to take it out, I'm sure. Wow, it knows uh, Faint Attack. That's not fun. It has an Orenberry. I thought I said I wasn't going to speed this one up. It does 9 damage per hit, so I'm going to have to heal. Let's just speed up the healing. Yeah, it's, it's doing 9 damage a hit. It's n That's not fun, honestly. Oh, dear God, it crit me. Oh, my God, Conductor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it survived. Um, that just happened. I'm, I'm mighty, mighty, mighty happy that it, you survived with one HP there, Conductor. Oh, that could have been really bad, really fast. Uh, uh, that could have been really, really bad. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Yes, you can finally see your little girl again. Uh, you know, you need a shower. <laughs> the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again soon. I believe they appear every Friday. So there's that. Hello, looker. <laughs> I, yeah, I made them run off. Yeah, have fun, looker. Um. Oh, he's back already. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> okay, you're gonna take off now, okay? See you later, looker. Well, that was an interesting episode, guys. Uh, close calls. Um, just a couple close calls. One with Geodude, and the other with Shinx, because that happened. I'm gonna go heal up, and uh, that'll be it for this episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you guys all again tomorrow with the next episode.